Hi, this is Ren and this is All Walks of Film. So next up we have visual effects. Visual effects is always something that people are interested in. There, there's something fascinating about watching something on screen and being taken to another world. Well, there are some years where there are obvious clear winners, like when The Lord of the Rings was nominated. This year, it's kind of up in the air. So the films that are nominated are Deepwater Horizon, Doctor Strange, The Jungle Book, Kubo and the Two Strings, and Rogue One. I haven't seen Deepwater Horizon. From my understanding, there's a lot of CGI involving the oil rigs and fires and all that kind of stuff just to keep the actors safe. From what I've seen from the trailers, it looks really good. It looks like the rendering is seamless, so I can understand why this is a nomination. Doctor Strange seems to be borrowing a lot from Inception, which in and of itself borrowed a lot from Paprika. Paprika is a Japanese animated film. It is very similar to Inception. If you haven't seen it, it's about entering people's dreams. It is a mindfuck, and I would absolutely encourage you to watch it if you haven't seen it already. Doctor Strange is a Marvel movie. I haven't seen it. I know that it has to deal with alternate dimensions from what I saw in the trailer. The visuals were interesting and kind of wild, so I wouldn't be offended if it won, but I, it, it does seem familiar. Next up, we have The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is beautiful. Almost the entire movie was done on blue screen. Now, blue screen is done outside, so it was done on a back lot. I'm not kidding you. Like, the entire movie was shot on the back lot of Hollywood, and that that's pretty impressive, especially since the rendering is so seamless. And if you were fortunate enough to watch it in 3D, it was actually worth the price of admission. I know a lot of people complain about 3D, like, oh, you know, it doesn't look that good. Uh, when it's completely rendered, and when they put a lot of effort into it, it does look really great, and The Jungle Book was no exception. It's also one of the most environmentally friendly, actually, I think it is the most environmentally friendly environmentalist film, because, they're, they're movies like Mad Max, uh, some of the older Jungle Books that, you know, they they shot out, you know, with wildlife. They shot, uh, you know, using real animals. Uh, obviously, Mad Max Fury Road didn't. There was some damage done, even though the message in and of itself was environmental. Uh, one of my favorite iterations of the Jungle Book is the original, I believe it was 1940s one with Sabu. Near the end of the movie, there is a giant forest fire. And while watching the movie, it kind of breaks my heart because I, I know that there was some damage done. It, it's beautiful, it's amazing, but it, it, it's really hard to see. Now, there is a forest fire that's absolutely amazing, but, you know, the creature renderings were great too. I know that Andy Serkis is directing his own version of The Jungle Book, so I'm really interested to see how that turns out. I personally think it might be better. I've had arguments with people about this, but for this year, I think that that was absolutely amazing. Next up, we have Kubo and the Two Strings. Now, this is only the second time that a stop-motion animated film has gotten visual effects. Now, that's of recent years. Leica has been steamrolling the stop motion animation thing, they have done so many innovations. So as far as my predictions, it's kind of a split tie. It could go to Kubo and the Two Strings. It could go to the Jungle Book. I'm not sure. Some of the visuals are things that I have never seen before. And in this day and age, that's kind of hard to say. But given the fact that the movie is animated, I might see them actually looking past it, which is unfortunate because so much hard work and effort was gone into it. I mean, they had a giant 17 foot, I believe, uh, it might be bigger than that, colossal skeleton. And that was direct homage to the great Ray Harryhausen. So I really would like to see Kubo and the Two Strings win, 
but I think it's going to go to Jungle Book. Rogue One was also thrown in here. Now, I personally loved Rogue One. It was on my top 10 list. I thought the visuals were great, but they were serviceable to the film. They, as far as greatest of the year, I don't think so. I think what also will hurt the film is the complaints about two CGI characters. Now, those CGI characters are Grand Moff Tarkin and Princess Leia, which you see at the very end of the film. That's not a spoiler because if you've seen A New Hope, you know she's coming. I personally thought the rendering of Grand Moff Tarkin was really good. Granted, the problem that I think a lot of people see, the whole issue with the Uncanny Valley, has to do with his eyes. Now, Peter Cushing, an actor who has died, he didn't have red eyes the way that it was portrayed in the film. Like, his, he, he didn't have that harsh reddening in his eyes that they decided to go for. So that created, you know, a cartoonish exaggeration and uh, allowed viewers to see through the illusion of his rendering. But it was really good. I, I, I think that just because it doesn't look 100% realistic, just because there are other things better, for example, some of the Planet of the Apes renderings, I still think the rendering looked good. Princess Leia, on the other hand, I thought her rendering was bad, and a lot of that had to do with uh, her facial animation as well as they just got Carrie Fisher's eyebrows wrong. So ultimately, my prediction is going to be for The Jungle Book. Now, as I've said, I would prefer if Kubo and the Two Strings won, mainly because I think Laika needs more recognition than it's gotten. I think Laika is a brilliant company that is pushing stop motion further than it has ever been pushed before. And also, some of the digital effects are pushing some of the seamless things that they've done with the animation, trying to smooth it. These are digital effects that are being applied because normally when you think of stop motion, you think of that like rickety movement of the characters and Kubo and the Two Strings is so smooth that while watching the film, I just thought it was CG animated. I, I knew it was stop motion animated, but like I, I kept on having to remind myself, okay, this is stop motion animated and that proves how good the rendering and the visual effects were i mean i personally think that the jungle book is going to win however i would be happy if kubo and the two strings won